In this video, we'll balance the equation for CaCO3 plus H3PO4. This is calcium carbonate plus phosphoric acid. First thing we'll do is we'll count the atoms up. We're going to use a bit of a trick to make this easier. So we have one calcium, we have one carbon, three oxygens here. We're going to ignore the phosphate for a moment, three hydrogens. And then since we have this phosphate ion here and we have it here, we're just going to count it as one thing. So over here in the reactants, we have just the one phosphate ion. So we count that as one. In the products, three calciums, we have one carbon, we have two, plus we have the one oxygen here in the water. That gives us three. Again, we're going to ignore the phosphate for a moment. Hydrogens, two of those. And then we have the phosphate here. We have two phosphates. So we're going to put a two here. So it makes it a little bit neater, a little bit easier to balance, saves you some time. You get the same answer either way. So I think I'll start by balancing the calciums. I have three here and one here. Let's put a three here, one times three. So those are balanced. One times the three for the carbon gives us three carbons. And then the oxygens, we need to update those. We have three times three three. So we have nine oxygens. And again, we're going to ignore these because they are here in our phosphate ion. Let's leave the oxygens till last. And perhaps it's best to balance the phosphates. Now if we put a two here. We'd have our phosphate times two, one times two. Those are balanced and our hydrogens. We'd have three times two now. So three times two, that gives us six hydrogens. Let's balance the hydrogens over here. If we put a three right here, two times three, that would give us six. Let's update the oxygens here. Now we have the two plus we have three times the one that gives us five. Looks like we could update the carbons. We could put a three here. One times three would give us three. Again, we need to update the oxygens and hopefully this will balance the equation. Three times two is six plus three times one is three. That gives us nine. We're done. This equation is balanced. The key really leave the oxygen still last. And if you have a polyatomic ion, like the phosphate ion on both sides, count that as one thing that'll save you a lot of time and time matters on exams. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for CaCO3 plus H3PO4, calcium carbonate plus phosphoric acid. Thanks for watching.